Maka's guides. <laughs> the following video does contain story spoilers. You have been warned. Hey guys, Maka here with another Red Dead Redemption 2 video, and in this video I'll be showing you all nine of the grave locations in the game in order to grab the Paying Respects Achievement Slash Trophy, which can only be attained after you have completed the entire game. Now, once you complete both of the epilogues, you will continue your game playing as John Marston instead of Arthur Morgan, and in order to grab this achievement or trophy, you'll have to visit the nine graves of the nine people who have died during the game. So the first one we can find on the map here, not far from our kind of Chapter 2 settlement area, it's of Sean McGuire right here, kind of on the edge of a small hill near the water. Our second grave is of Kieran, which can be found not far from the Shady Bell settlement from Chapter 4. Basically on one of the dirt paths riding out, it'll be just off to the side. Next, we have both Hosea and Lenny, which are going to be next to each other, just north of St. Denis and just east of Lagras, just off of the path right here. They both died in the same mission or right around the same time uh, of the game, and for that reason, they're both going to be hidden in the same area. If you listen closely to some of the dialogue in Chapter 6, they actually let you know that they got both of their bodies and buried them together under a tree. I think for Lenny, they actually like stole his body from the cemetery in St. Denis, if I remember correctly. Anyways, you can find both of them here located next to each other. Make sure you do interact with both of the graves, though. Next, we have Susan, who can be located between the V and the E in New Hanover, just to the southwest of the Elysian Pool on a cliffside. This one can be a little bit tricky because there is a lot of paths that are kind of nearby, but none of them really directly lead to the grave. So I'd recommend using the train tracks and then kind of climbing the cliff from them, and then you're going to have to kind of face back towards the train tracks and on the edge of the cliff, You'll be able to find your fifth grave here. Easy now. Our next grave is of the player who we played through pretty much the entire game, and that's Arthur Morgan, located just to the east of the Brackus Bridge, near the Mysterious Hill home. You'll use some of the paths here, and then you'll have to kind of climb a couple of the rocks to get to the exact location shown on the map there. So you'll see this path here. You kind of go up and around onto the, onto the rocks to get to the top, and then you can kind of descend down them slowly. There's usually a bald eagle sitting here next to the grave, and you'll obviously have to go up to it and interact with it in order to pay your respects. And that should now be six out of nine. Very close to the last grave, we have Eagle Flies just across the river to the west of Donner Falls. And on that side, you'll be able to find him pretty much directly next to one of the paths. So as you ride your horse in, you should be able to spot it. It is the smallest grave in terms of its tombstone, but uh, pretty, still pretty easy to find. Next up, we'll need to ride to pretty much where the game started in the northernmost part of uh, the area. And this little town is going to be called Coulter. 
And basically inside the town at the northernmost part, there is a small cemetery. And there's going to be like five or six tombstones and then one kind of located in the back. The one in the back will be of Davy, so make sure you go in and inspect it. From the previous location of Coulter, you'll want to head directly north and make sure that you keep the small river on your left hand side and keep a decent amount of distance between you and the river in order to make sure that you have some height on the actual hill here. As you approach a couple of bends in the river, you should be able to notice a group of trees as well and next to them there will be a grave and that is of Jenny. Interacting with this one, if this is your last 9 of 9, you will unlock the achievement or trophy for doing so. And uh, I thought this was a really cool touch to the game. It actually added a lot of, um, you know, it's, it's a good attention to detail. And I actually really enjoyed the fact that they included something like this. Nonetheless, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope the video was helpful. Special thanks to the amazing people on Patreon for supporting the show. And hopefully I see you guys next time. Peace.